Today marks the beginning of the Sunday Sermon series. If you guys don't know, back in the day, I used to shoot these videos every Sunday, and they're sometimes kind of about crypto, but not always. They're mainly focused on wisdom that I have learned from my time in the cryptocurrency space. And today, I'm just going to kind of ramble a little bit about some of the things I've learned over my journey of making millions of dollars here in the cryptocurrency space. Um, and some of the things that I wish that I had been around to tell myself when I got started. So I first want to start off by saying that making a lot of money does not make you a better person. Making a lot of money will make you more of the person that you already are. If you're a very generous individual, then making a lot of money will probably make you more generous. If you're a greedy individual, it will probably make you more greedy. If you are a very um, wise individual, it will probably turn into even more money than it already is, but it's going to make you more of who you already are. And it's also going to do a very good job of exposing your flaws. And the money that I've made in my career has, has exposed many of my flaws. One of them that you don't think about very often is something that a former mentor of mine used to call sloppy agape. And what does that mean? Well, when you make a lot of money, a lot of people start asking for a lot of money. And it is very tempting to say, aha, I've got $10,000 here that I don't need to do anything with. I can fix that problem for you right now. Let me just sign you a check. Problem goes away. The issue comes that when you make a lot of money, the temptation is to believe that money is the problem and that you can help people simply by giving them a lot of money. And that doesn't actually always solve the problem. Sometimes it does. Sometimes there are people that are very wise with finances that are literally just in a pinch and something hit the fan. And those are the ministry opportunities that are a good place to invest some of your hard-earned money in being generous with. But there are times where people will come knocking, asking for help, and what they really need is some wisdom around finance. What they really need is a wake-up call to be responsible with those finances. What they really need is to put down a certain habit. What they really need is to cut up the credit cards. What they really need is to start working harder. What they really need is to sleep less. You know, the Bible says in two different places in Proverbs the exact same thing. A little sleep, yet a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, and poverty will come upon you as one that traveleth, and your want will come as an armed man. It says it twice verbatim, the exact same phrasing. It's two verses. I'm not quoting it verbatim. I need to memorize it verbatim. But in two places in Proverbs, it says it the exact same way, literally, word for word, verbatim. Maybe that individual needs to sleep a little less, play a little less video games, and work a little more. And maybe it's not that they need your money. It's that they need your example of somebody who is hardworking and sure, maybe they need a job. Sure, maybe they need some help. I'm not saying that we don't help people, but that's one of the things I've learned from making a lot of money is that the thing that you can really give people when you've made a lot of money is your experience on how you did it, more so than just signing a check and thinking you're gonna make their problems go away. It's just one of the many things that I've learned over the course of my of my time in, in cryptocurrency and in, and in ministry, I've also been able to write a lot of checks that I'm very thankful for. Um, one of them is Life for the Innocent. If you guys aren't, aren't aware, they work with sex trafficking in India. And for about $1,500, you can fund uh, one child to be literally purchased out of sex slavery, obviously freed, and put into a loving Christian home. We've been able to send tens of thousands of dollars to that ministry. There are good things that we can send our dollars towards. But we want to be wise about where we send our money. So that's one of the things I've learned. Something else I've learned is the importance of consistency and a system over perfection. It is so easy, so easy, so tempting for us to think, oh, I've got to make the perfect portfolio balance. I've got to get the perfect amount of the perfect altcoin and get in at the perfect time. I've got to buy the perfect dip and I've got to put the perfect system in place. And what I've learned through running YouTube and through running multiple businesses, through building a large investment portfolio, is that it's more about the overarching system running. Think about it like this. If you've got a car and the car's, I don't know, transmission's in great shape, but you completely neglect to put the rest of the car in place, a transmission doesn't make a car. It's just a transmission. The whole system has to be there. And even if the whole system has some kinks, maybe the car leaks a little bit of oil. Maybe it's not the most fuel efficient. Maybe one of the tires is leaking air. If the thing runs, that is better than nothing. Our businesses, our personal financial lives, our investment plans, they need to have every piece in place before they need to have every piece perfectly 
in place on this channel. I'll be very, uh, very forthright with you guys about the plan on this channel. One of the things I've learned is to keep a very low overhead. I'll get to that in a minute. But with that, I don't have as, mon as many resources as I used to to be able to put out a ton of content. So what I realized is, wait a minute, I need to fulfill a couple different components of the engine. I need to have daily uploads. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to make these phone videos. I don't edit these videos. You know what I'm going to do after I press this stop button right here? It's, it's right there on my phone. After I press that button, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go into YouTube. I'm going to press the upload button. I'm going to put a title on it. I'm going to copy and paste the description. I'm going to put a description in there at the top. And I'm going to set this to upload at 2 p.m. on Sunday, January the whatever. That's where you're seeing this. I'm shooting this last Wednesday for you. It's today for me. It's simple. It gets content out here. What did you guys come for? You guys came for what's coming out of my mouth. The wisdom that I'm able to share with you. It's not fancy editing. If it was, then I'd only be able to have one or two videos out a week because I'm a small team. I like it being a small team. I want it to be a small team. But one of the disadvantages of that is I can't have a highly produced, edited piece of content every single day. But that's not what you came for anyway. We have to get everything in place. We do the live streams. We do Climate of Crypto one day a week. Highly edited piece of content. We do the shorts. We have an overall system that works good rather than one-tenth of the system that works perfectly. And the channel is absolutely exploding ever since we did that. We have quadrupled viewership in three months because of that. In September, when we only had live streams online, I wasn't doing afternoon videos, we got 118,000 views. In December, the channel got 466,000 views, and I believe with these videos coming online and shorts and all the different things that we're going to be doing, we'll be able to do over 700,000 views in January and probably a million in February. Now, February is a short month, so we'll see what happens. But my point is, is you've got to put a system in place that is that has something in every one of the critical areas. You've got to have something in those areas. So for you in cryptocurrency, you've got to have something in Bitcoin. You've got to have something in uh, some of the altcoins. You got to have something in some small caps. You have to have some plan, even if the plan is as simple as saying, I'm going to buy every Friday, and then when we hit all time high, I'm going to sell half. If that's your plan, that is better than no plan at all. That is way better than no plan at all. With your personal finances, maybe your plan is, I'm going to put 5% of my take home pay into paying off my highest yield debt. Fine. That is a better personal financial goal than none. Put something into place with getting rid of debt. Put something into place with budgeting. Maybe this month you're going to download some kind of transaction tracker like Mint or now Credit Karma. Um, maybe you're going to say, I'm going to pay off this debt in the next three months. Maybe you're going to say, I'm going to invest this, this much into my Roth IRA, my stock market accounts, my cryptocurrency accounts every Friday. Whatever it is, put something in each of the critical areas of personal finance in place. Same thing with your life. If, you, if you're struggling with your social life, say, I'm going to do something. Every Tuesday, I'm going to reach out to three people and ask if one of them is free to hang out this week. Right? Put something in place. Stop trying to be a perfectionist. It's not going to be perfect. Put something in place and then iterate on it. The way that I started this channel and the thing that made this channel very successful in the early years and has continued to be the thing that I keep going back to is the simple system of uploading daily. When I started this channel, I decided I was going to upload a video every single day until I made life-changing wealth. I uploaded a video every single day for three years straight. In those three years, I don't think I missed more than about 30 days of uploading in three and a half years because I had one basic system in place. And because I was uploading seven pieces of content a week and for uh, two of those three years, I was literally a one-man show, those videos were not edited. They were raw video files and I spent five minutes on the thumbnail because it was a daily thing. But those videos would get between five and 7,000 views and we would gain between three and 5,000 subscribers every single month. And we would make between 30 and $40,000 a month. And it worked great. So put a system in place that is not perfect, but that is good enough that it's not going to crash and burn and it's not going to send you backwards and then iterate on that in any part of life. Specifically, what's probably relevant to you is in cryptocurrency. And one of the final things I want to talk about is overhead with finance. One of the things I've realized is that it is not a good idea to be generous by making commitments. If you're going to be generous, oftentimes it's better to be generous in one-offs. What do I mean? Well, there are different instances where I hired people or where I made certain commitments for monthly finance, uh, monthly financial obligations for the sake of being generous. And some of those were successful and some of them were not. I'm not going to get into any specifics because I love everybody that I've ever run into. There's no individual in this world that I do that I hate. I love everybody. Um, but there are times where I realized, man, I really should have kept my overhead low, maintained a high profit margin, been extremely strategic about commitments when it comes to finance and done things in trial periods. And so for you, 
it's a good idea to make commitments based on investment. It's a good idea to commit. I'm going to commit this amount of my finances into investing in a certain market every single week. What's probably not as good of an idea is to say, I'm going to commit to helping out by giving X amount to such and such organization every single month until you really know that you can handle that. Make sure you're maintaining a high profit margin, just like my father always taught me. Live on less than you make by a considerable amount. If you're living on $100,000, live like you're making 80. If you're making 80, live like you're making 60. Save and invest and make sure that you're not putting too many commitments. Very wealthy, financially sovereign, millionaire individuals have low overhead, large profit margins, and they're able to send that money where they see fit, whether that is to a fancy vacation or whether that is to uh, making investments in real estate or in the stock market or in cryptocurrency, but they have a lot of money that they get to decide where it goes every single month rather than a commitment deciding where it goes every single month. That's one of the reasons that very wealthy people typically maintain high profit margins. These are just a few of the things that I've learned over the last several years. I intend to continue doing these videos and I intend to make them a little bit more planned out. But in keeping with what I just said, my number one goal right now is that this video goes out at 2 p.m. on Sunday, and hopefully next Sunday, I'll put a little more, more thought into it, and you guys will get a little bit more value, and we will grow together. I want to make sure the first Sunday of this year I had a piece of content up, so I really hope you enjoyed this Sunday sermon, and always remember, always remember that it's not about what you achieve. It's about the effort. It is so tempting so tempting to get caught up on whether or not you hit the number that you forget that you're not actually in control of that. What you are in control of is your own effort and your own investment and your own education. So make sure you continue to invest in your education, continue to put in an effort, and leave the results in God's hands because ultimately you and I don't have the power to take them out of God's hands. And also always remember that the world's going to kill you one day, so don't love it too much. There's something far more valuable, and his name is Christ, and I'd love to talk to you about him more if you're interested. You can find our contact information down below. Feel free to leave a comment, but I'm going to wrap it out. Peace.